Thank you for joining us on Black Investments Matter. I'm Antoine Anderson. Today, we're walking you through the steps on submitting your claim for the Facebook Incorporated Consumer User Profile Litigation Lawsuit that was settled. Here's what you need to do. Well, first off, is it even worth filing a claim at this point? The settlement was about $725 million. Now, you divide that by the total number of U.S. users who have Facebook accounts, and that roughly translates to about 243 million people. Now, I'm no mathematician, but I think that rounds out to be just about three bucks. So, is it worth it? Well, yeah, kind of. And why I say that is this. Facebook didn't admit any fault in the data breach that occurred when that leaked information of all of our user information was being sold to Cambridge, by Cambridge Analytica and uh, sold to third parties who began marketing to us and basically changed the face of what Facebook actually is. So with that said, how much money did uh, Cambridge Analytica make off of the sale of all, our, all of our data? Well, quite frankly, I think it's more than three bucks. That said, um, Facebook agreed to pay, get your money. Well, off rip, let's get you to the right web page to submit your claim. That's going to be Facebook user privacy settlement.com. Facebook user privacy settlement.com. Once there, you're going to be able to view some of the important deadlines that have already passed and the one that is coming up on August 25th, 2023. This is the last date that you can file a claim against Facebook to get your roughly three dollars and again that's before lawyers get paid depending on how many people actually file this claim if you're one of those uh estimated 235 240 million facebook users who've had an account between 2007 and 2024 then you're entitled to your three bucks but again there was an important dates that were left out July 26, 2003 was the opt-out deadline. Uh, July 26, 2023 was the also the objection deadline. And then you won't get the final approval numbers until September 7th. So go ahead and get your forms done now. Now, after scrolling down and clicking on the submit your form online link, it'll take you to the actual page where you're going to submit the claim. Now, once there, the first thing you want to do is fill out the required fields, which is your name, uh, address, city, state, and whatnot. The details are important, obviously. You're going to make sure you are one of those residents of the United States. You're going to verify that you were a user between May 2007 and 2022. And... You're going to use both current and deleted accounts. Scroll down and go ahead and fix up your username information. Just go ahead and plug that in. Now, most of you guys are asking, what is that user name? It's not necessarily going to be your email address or your handle. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to access that from an Android phone or how to find your actual username and also how to do it on the PC. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get right into it. Go ahead and click on Facebook, and then from there, click on your profile icon. Next, click on the settings gear, and then click on personal details. Once you click on that, you're gonna go ahead and click on profiles, and click on the profile of choice and then select your username and there you will find your actual username. Now from the PC, it's even easier. Again, you're gonna click on your profile and select that. Get to your actual page, scroll down to settings and privacies and then click on settings. Again, click on personal details to your right or actually to your left. And select the profile of choice and then select username. 
Just keep in mind, $725 million was the total amount of the settlement. Um, it was estimated that there were somewhere in the neighborhood of 243 million citizens that would qualify for a piece of that settlement. The rough math, obviously, $725 million divided by or in between 243 million people, um, roughly about $3. Is it about the three dollars? No, it's about holding uh, these companies, social media entities accountable for how they're handling our data. As things go forward in this sphere, in this environment, we have to be very cognizant and conscious of what is being done with our dollars. Granted, a lot more money changed hands between Cambridge Analytica and Facebook more than $725 million over those, what, 16, 17 years? Uh, it's a lot of time to accumulate data and sell it and turn a profit. So um, yeah, I don't know. Leave your comments, concerns, questions below. Let me know what you think, if you are even bothering to get the um, settlement, but uh, hey, a dollar's a dollar. Thank you for joining us. Talk to you soon.